What is going on guys and girls? So we got a different kind of video up today and it's going to be a review if you didn't already get that from the title. Um, so with recording more and more gameplay as games come out, I just figured that I might as well put up my opinions and share my thoughts with you guys. So today it's going to be about uh, Battlefield 1. So I, I streamed a little bit of it uh, one the, like a couple nights into the beta and recorded a video and uploaded it. And uh, I played a few games on the side for myself, and uh, so I got a pretty good layout of the entire game. So, um, it, it, I don't know. Um, so the pros of the game so far, um, just like the previous Battlefields, uh, EA and DICE have really seemed to nail down the uh, formula to make pretty damn fine games. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. Hardline was a bit iffy but it was it was still a fun game to play single player um i've streamed and played battlefield 4 here on the channel before so that's you know my opinions on that um it just everything plays similarly to how past games played but it, it just brings a different feel into it with the the settings being different and the the look and everything but it still feels like, it's easy to pick up if you haven't played a game in a while. So, it's, I don't know, it just feels like a good a good overall game. It plays really well. Even changing things like only having a few auto weapons and having basically everything else be semi-automatic. And even Bolt Shot, that takes a while. It still didn't feel like it took away from the fun of the game at all. Um, even Even with how unbalanced the vehicles were... They did kind of spawn rapidly, and they work everywhere, and it was really, really nice. Um, gun mounts aren't that overpowered, and I actually like the inclusion in them, in this map at least anyway. There weren't a whole lot of them in useful places, like uh, like back in Battlefield 4. They just weren't in places that you'd want them to be, and I feel like they really nailed down getting them in good places in this game. Um, the graphics visually are beautiful and stunning um in three and four the model seemed a bit like chunky and bulky and it just everything seemed a bit more expanded than it should have been even shadows kind of you know like mapped themselves oddly and were grainy a bit but in this game everything seems just beautiful um it everything looked amazing all the like even from like the cloth on your arms while you were shooting was like beautiful and crisp and perfect um the landscape was beautiful better than any other desert maps that were in like battlefield 4 and it everything just just flowed well and was elegant and it just even the weapons didn't seem like plasticky like they looked in the previous games like they seemed like beautifully crafted weapons and it, it just, I feel like there was a lot on uh, design for this game, and it really, really did well. Um, as for movement and getting around the map, the map seemed small enough on both Rush and Conquest to get across it in a reasonable amount of time. In Conquest, you did have to do a lot of running in one direction if you wanted to get someplace without a vehicle. Like some of the, there was one capture point, I don't remember where it was, but it was all the way south of the map, and you really, really couldn't get there unless you had like a horse or something otherwise you were just walking for a solid like 10 minutes before you got there um but other than that all the points seem to be you know bundled together enough to where you could get between them if you wanted to without a vehicle um i know there were a couple moments where i was chasing after a vehicle but it was still we you got there at like um, only like a minute behind what the other vehicles did um so the map size seems good. In Rush, it it did seem a little bit crowded, but it was also fun and it was very fast paced and I enjoyed that. But um, everything everything seemed to flow very well and very nicely with the map. And even even the very like they I guess with taking out some things that wouldn't necessarily be in old warfare, they added in some stuff like there's there were plenty of crevices and like high. Uh, barricade points and like high cliff edges that you could just sit on top of and snipe or even you didn't even have to snipe on some of them you could just fire down to the enemies below and it was really some of them were in like crucial choke points and they, it was really nice um 
so now on to some cons of the game um well tanks like that's that's really one of the biggest one tanks um seriously the tank gameplay seems a bit broken um now all the vehicles in and of themselves are very well armored and they seem to have an auto regen on their health um like they'll just kind of just repair themselves over time where back in the back in the old games you had to use a repair torch to heal up your things these kind of just went from like 50 health to 100 if you didn't get shot at in under a minute and it was it was like it was useful but it was also a little bit broken and you could tell it was a little bit broken um now i understand with taking out things as well on this like taking out atvs and the apc and all those things and just having tanks and cars and horses yeah you want to have something with a little more oomph behind it but a five man tank is basically untouchable and um you you could uh, if a tank just sat at a control point and you didn't have another tank you were basically doomed um and even driving around in a tank in and of itself you're unstoppable practically if you got that thing fully loaded um on one of the streams i was doing we stayed in a tank for like a solid 20 minutes just being untouchable until the game ended and it was it was um it's pretty extreme but um horses are about the only thing that aren't very well armored but even in and of itself the horse gameplay is a bit hard to get around and it just it, i don't know i feel like there's a lot of functionality from it that's missing and should be added to it i suppose um cars they seemed a bit a bit glitchy but they also in and of themselves seem like a, a fast moving tank and it's just there's a lot of i think there's a lot of balancing with vehicles that needs to go on because it seems like a vehicle will just crumple any land uh well walking person and um there's there's a lot of walking and not a lot of vehicles so if someone gets the upper hand with a vehicle you're practically doomed and there's not much else you can do um other than that the game played really well i did have experiences with lag on the stream wise and um apparently it wasn't my end because uh my friends that i was playing with were getting the uh bad end of lag as well and there was a lot of rubber banding a lot of trying to jump up sand dunes and not being able to um even flying around in an airplane became unplayable if you were in the gunner seat because the lag was so bad now granted it is a 64 on 64 server that we were playing on and it wasn't full all the time but that does cause for a bit of lag and it, and i understand that and when i played rush um recorded a video for rush here and the other couple games that i played the lag was non-existent and i it played very well so maybe it was just a server size or whatever but it even if it wasn't it seemed to get fixed pretty quickly and um it seemed like they really nailed that down it um overall it plays really nicely the menu style is a little bit getting used to and even the menus were a bit unresponsive and slow at first but i feel like they really took the game a step forward while also throwing the game backwards you know um it, i don't know i feel like uh, they finally have it really down to uh, an, a beautiful formula like Maroon 5 and hit songs, right? <laughs> so um, I can't wait to see the campaign when it comes out. I will definitely be buying this game, maybe even give it a pre-order and we'll see. And um, overall, yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Hope you enjoyed my opinions. Now, this is only a beta, so it's not. there's not a whole lot to discuss here. There's one map and two game modes and not a lot in it. But um, hopefully these videos get longer and more informative with time as games come out. I plan on doing one for No Man's Sky, even though that probably isn't needed since the reviews are probably everywhere. Um, but overall, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like and uh, comment, subscribe, all those things. And I will uh, see you guys all in the next video. Bye.